So we had a um, quite an early bud break. That always kind of puts us a little bit ahead throughout the season and uh, gives us a better chance of getting the fruit in before the rains in the fall. So we're probably about two weeks ahead of schedule at the moment. The fruit that we're seeing is, is really beautiful. We've had a wonderful ripening season. Um, the fruit is quite small, but um, enough clusters, so we have a good crop. We've had some nice rainfall at a good time last week when we really kind of needed some moisture um, for the vines. I, at this moment, expect it to be a very beautiful and smooth vintage. So the last five days have brought us um, a lot of rain in the Willamette Valley. We've had about six inches, and that's an extraordinary amount of rain. It's a lot of moisture in the soil. We are bringing in helicopters to dry out the vineyards, try to get as much moisture off the vines as we can, can really get back to some flavor development. We're looking at about 10 days of, of clear and dry weather, um, and hoping that we can get most everything else in, in, in pretty good shape. So after making wine here for 20 years, we've had a few vintages that we've dealt with this kind of weather, and it's uh, it's not something that we get too excited about anymore. This is the Willamette Valley. We have weather like this quite often. It's just something that uh, Mother Nature throws at you and you adapt and there's things we do in the vineyard, there's things we can do in the cellar to really bring the most that we can out of this vintage. Lisa's always loved this embracing of, of all these natural things in life and she loves the vineyard and she loves to see things grow. She is a natural mother and I think that that is part of why she's so successful at, um, at her winemaking. She has so many different vineyards to choose from, maybe up to 30 different blocks. Um, she's very hands-on with each of those blocks, each of those fermenters, uh, actually tasting every single one and, and trying to fine-tune each one. I think that's why her wines, every single vintage, are so beautiful. She is a perfectionist to some degree. I think that's, that's a guide for her in her whole process of the winemaking. Looking at what she has today in terms of the fruit and what she envisions the finished wine will be. She has to figure out, make real decisions that really make a difference. And of course that's difficult to do, but on the other hand, she also has to make sure that everyone around her has confidence in those decisions. You know, when we have a challenging year, um, you know, there's something so calming knowing that Louisa has this confidence about her and the way in which she blends her wines. It's extraordinary.